Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to another episode of Wizard Training. You're going to notice a few things different this episode. First off, as you can see, there is a texture pack installed. That's right, guys. I decided to go ahead and look through texture packs and find one that I liked and start using it in my videos. Um, unfortunately, the texture pack that I really, really, really liked, I can't use because looking through it and talking with the guy, person who made it, Quartz Builder 1, I, it was revealed that some of the images used in that particular texture pack were downloaded from Google, which means we, I, while we can use them in a private texture pack, I can't use them on here because, well, anything I show on here, I have to have rights to. I have to have permissions in order to use it. And any normal published texture pack automatically gives you permissions. So I, that means I can't use my favorite texture pack. So I found out where she got a large portion of the textures in the pack and found that there is a texture pack they, out there that does provide everything I want. And this is it right here. This is, I actually like this texture pack. It's pretty good. Um, give me a second. Let me show you the name of it. It is called Equanimity. Equanimity. Look, I can't pronounce it, but there it is on the screen. Okay. Now, here's some of the other texture packs I did look at with Fairy Light. LB Photorealism, I looked at Lord Trillobytes, Northcraft, of course Mario Craft, it makes me laugh every time I play with it. Uh, Skyfall, there is an X-ray texture pack, I've used that once, just so you know. Um, at the earlier Arth Magica videos, I had to use this to find the underground stuff. Um, then we got the R3D Craft, oh shoot, I think I just accidentally clicked on it. Oops, yeah, well... We got R3D Craft. Now, this Extreme Neon here, that is the texture pack that was put together by Quartz Builder 1. And unfortunately, like I said, that is the one that I like and I cannot use it because a lot of the textures that are included in it were obtained from Google. So, you know, that means I'm just going to use it privately. So when I'm not recording, I'll, I can switch to that. But anytime I'm recording now, I think I'm going to be sticking with equanimity. Equanimity. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. My God. All right. In addition to that, other things you're going to notice. Here, let's, let's, let's go outside. Oh, look at that. Health bars. That is right, guys. We now have health bars for all the, all the mobs. So when we... Put our cursor on them we will be able to see how healthy or dead they are which is good so when we're fighting monsters we can know if they're almost dead or not right awesome all right another thing you'll see in the upper right hand corner over there you see we have a radar screen we it, it, it is telling us our general direction so i will always know which way i'm heading now all right, that will help us as well because we can also pull up the map and look at it. Now, you can see this is the map as we see it right now. So, as you can see right here in the center, we're, you know, right there. There's our house. There's a the desert. And then when you look down to the south, you see some more forest, which happens to be over there. And then, but when you look back over that way, you see those brighter green at the top corner there? That's the dark forest, guys. The dark forest, after all. All right, so... Those are some of the changes. Another one. In fact, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't make it. If I can remember how to do this. We have one more mod that I have added in. I think a couple more mods. But there's one more important mod that I've added in. And this is a mod that's going to help us out. Hold on. What do I need? What do I need? Do I have, do I have up here? Uh, yeah. Not, I don't need that. I need this. Da, 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 da. And I need some paper and some books. And I don't think I have them. But let's go look. I'm pretty sure books. No, I have those books. Blah. All right, plants. We have sugar cane in here. We have 11 sugar canes. So we're going to make some paper out of this 11 sugar cane here. Oh, that was... That sucks. That was a total fail. Here we go. Bang, bang, boom. All right, so we got some paper. Now we need some books out of that, which means more leather. Do we have any in a mob jumps? No. So we need more leather. Stone, dirt, sand and gravel, netherrack. Now, I can't label these last two. Unless I put the label directly on them. 
So here's what I'm proposing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, let's see, stone, dirt, and sand and gravel, and I'm going to put it one sign there, and all of this is going to be stone, dirt, sand and gravel, because that's, well, let's be frank. As I'm wandering around in the world digging for ores, that's what I'm going to get the most of, so that'll give me six full chests. So for now, and then we'll pick this out, and go, do, do, do. pick that up. So it's going to be stone, dirt, sand and gravel. Stone, dirt, sand, gravel. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to go ahead and pull these off because we're going to repurpose these. At some point. Do, do, do. Did I pick them all up? Did I pick? Yeah, I got them all. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and make netherrack right here. And I don't think I spelled that right, but it's okay. It's my show. Oh, wait. I did spell it right. Oh, my God. Uh, let's organize here real quick. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, that reminds me of another one. See these buttons up here? These are for organizing. Sorting rows, sorting columns, sort default sorting, all right? Um, some of my pretend, some of my viewers, QB1, are, well, they still find it kind of funny how I'm always losing stuff. Uh, I'm always looking at my inventory saying, I need this, I need that. And I'm looking and looking and I don't see it. And then I'm going taking these long trips to the nether or wherever to get this stuff. Did, did I just do this? Did I just I did too. God bless. Look what I just did. That was just silly. All right, put the nether rack back in there, guys. So... Their solution was for me to get install this mod. I can't remember what the name of the mod is now, but I install this mod and it allows me, or it will help me to organize better, essentially. So that maybe when I look at my chest, I might be able to see what it is I'm looking for. All right, um, I think we're gonna need some more sugar cane. Why are you injured? Who hit you? Did you hit him? What you get? All right. So I think we're gonna need some more sugar cane. We've got you know a nice little growth of it right here. Let's take off the top. A little off the top. You know, trim it down. All right. Take that in. We need to make some books. So to do that, we're gonna have to go slaughter some cows. Moo moos. Coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you don't like the idea, but it's okay. Look, I'm sorry. I know I really need a slaughterhouse, but we don't have one. There you are. Oh, shoot. Fine, I'll just punch you to death. Do it the hard way then. Whatever. Ugh. All right, so we got three. We got four of you guys left. Um, do I want to? Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll take you down. Paradise City. Take you down. There we go. All right, that should give us plenty. Let's go, let's go make our books now. I actually only need four books. So I've got five. Well, five pieces of leather. Put one up in there. So that'll make us the four books I need. And we are short by one piece of paper. Look at that. Oh my god. We've got to go get some more some more yeah, sugar cane. Sugar cane. Oh, there's one piece. Did I drop any more in here? Hello. Oh, ugh. Nope, no more in there. All right. Uh, well, I don't want to take up all my sugar cane there. So let's go. Let's go wandering real quick. I could have swore I saw some sugar cane out this way somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Check the map. Um. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. Back that way. I see water. Let's go check out that water. There's water in the woods. There's water in the woods over there. Let's go check it out. Now, 
this texture pack or resource pack is what it's called actually because it's not just a texture pack it, it does a lot more than just textures if you haven't noticed like look at my cursor for instance my god it's just one freaking dot i can't stand that i hate it personally now i know some people like it you know you're playing on on first person shooter games you want your cursor to be as small and minimal as possible but yet still be highly visible so that you know you can get right on the target you know put that put that dot across his face and pull the trigger you know i get that i, I understand that but for me i have problems seeing the dot it's just a freaking dot. And I'm looking all around the screen. You know, I'm looking up on my radar. I'm looking down at my inventory bar. I'm looking all around, and I just don't see the dot. So we're going to remove that. Um, not right now, obviously. You know, before I record the next time. I'm going to remove that dot. I'm going to remove the texture for that dot. So it'll go back to its default Minecraft cursor. Because, quite frankly, I can't stand the dot. It's not dotting. Hello, pig. Yep. To you, too. Yep. I heard ya. Alright, I'm looking for sugar cane. Anybody got it? Any smugglers around here? Just a little bit of sugar cane. Smuggling it. Buying it. I'll pay. I'll let you live. Wah. You know what? Yeah, while I'm out here, we could possibly bring back some pigs. That's it. Well, not today. No, no. We'll do it another day. But I definitely should probably bring back some pigs. And, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what else I need to do? And I think I've probably already done it and totally forgot. But. I pick up I did pick up the cocoa beans okay we're good all right well I am not finding any sugar king out here we're gonna keep wandering though it's getting dark maybe we'll find some enemies uh, if you remember correctly we were having issues with that last episode or the previous episode one of the previous episodes we could not find enemies so until we went to the, the nether obviously and then I got into a war zone it was horrid uh, but we are going back to the nether oh there we go sugar cane uh, we are going to go back to the nether because I still need some more quartz. Because we don't have enough quartz yet. So we need to go back and get some more. Um, yeah, I'll leave this here. We'll just let it regrow. In fact, let's throw some more down so we can come back later if we need to. I think that's good enough. All right. So we're going to take this sugar cane here. We're going to take it back and we'll make, some, make another piece of paper out of it. And that should finish our crafting guide. Uh, like I said, that crafting guide will help us because it allows me to look up recipes. Now, I, it was suggested that I use NEI or, you know, like I think it's called Not Enough Items or TMI, which is Too Many Items. Those mods were suggested to me as well. Um, I looked at them and quite frankly, I don't want them. And it, the reason being is they're, it's too easy to use them for cheating. Well, you know, loading items in and, and stuff. And for the purpose of my shows, I don't do any cheating. I, I refuse to. Yeah, okay, so I have cheats enabled on this server, uh, on this on this game. Uh, cheats are enabled, but it I don't use them. The only real reason I ever have it on there is in the event something really, really goes wrong. Like, Like, for instance, if I start recording one day and I do a whole bunch of stuff, and then I get done and I look back and find out, oh, oops, the whole recording software just crapped out on me. I don't have anything recorded. In that case, I will go back and re using you know, creative, essentially, I'll go back and put everything back the way it was. Um, that way, when I get the recording software fixed again, then I can go, at, go ahead and actually record like I'm supposed to. And you guys would be none the wiser. And in fact, I've, I've actually done that once or twice. Just you know, all transparency here. I've done it once or twice. But it's not something I want to do a whole lot of. You know, it's actually something I prefer not to do it. But I have it enabled just for that purpose. Just in the event that it's needed. Sometimes you never know. You know, Murphy's Law, man. Crap happens. So here we are. We're back at the house. Almost. We're getting there. A few more hundred steps. 
Oh, it goes so slow. Let's run. Run, 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 run. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's... Power up. You know, I didn't think about it. Maybe it's a case of I have too many friendly mobs around here. Maybe that's it. Because besides the fact, you remember I changed it to hard last time, and I did not change it. I have not changed it back. I've just left it on hard mode. All right, now you guys, you drop a sapling. I need a sapling. 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 Give me a sapling, please. All right. Well, at some point, here it is. We got a sapling. I'll say at some point, I'm going to get a sapling. We'll replant that sucker. And let's go in and make our new book. Yes, yes. Let's make it. Let's, wrong thing. What am I doing? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, wow. Epic fail. All right. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and the crafting table. Dun, 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 dun. We have the crafting guide. Now, in case you haven't seen it, now, in my original Ars Magica full-featured episode series, which was all called Arcanium, I used the crafting guide. Here's what it is. It literally shows me recipes. All of them. Any recipe in the game. It shows them. It even shows the, the smelting recipes. Look at that. Yes, you can smelt it. Yes! So, it'll make it easier, because, you know, I... I can't remember all of these recipes. I mean, there's a lot of, look, 215 rows. Now, that's two recipes each. Okay, so that's what, 430 recipes, approximately? That's a lot of recipes to remember. You know, it's, it, it really is, especially when you're doing all this other stuff. You know, you're doing YouTube and programming and other video games and work. Okay, so I don't. I'm not going to memorize everything. So yeah, I'm not going to remember everything. And and especially like the other day, you know, I was I was struggling with what was it? I think it was the the hook, the the, the tripwire hook. Yeah, I couldn't remember what it was. Well, now I have a book. I can look it up. That's right, folks. So that's what that is. All right, now what to do? Oh, we got to put the signs back. Let's get some jungle tree planting going on. Which is, you know, let's do it right here. Bingo. So we can start harvesting some jungle vine, jungle stuff. You know what? Pop you out right there. La 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 la. All dug up. Uh huh. All right, so one, two, three, four. There we go. Pop this down on there, just like so. Now we got our little cocoa factory going on. How's that? Ah, you like them apples? Mwah! Yes, yes. I love it. So we'll have more cocoa. Love cookies. We'll eat cookies. <laughs> Are you guys being nice to each other now? Because this guy's still hurting over here. And so is this guy. Because I punched you, right? Uh, how do you? Oh, don't talk back to me. I swear to God. All right. We have, we have some raw beef. I want some eggs. Let's go throw the eggs real quick. really need to get, 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 a, get a pattern here going on. Let me figure out what I'm going to do here. Pick up an egg, throw an egg, throw an egg, pick up an egg, you know. Pick them all up. Hey, hey. No. Boom, boom. No. Oops, sorry. Sorry. What happens when you get in the way there, buddy? Hey, you want to stop? You want to stop? Well, you're not hurt. You're not even hurt. Dude, that's what I do. I just hurt your feelings, right? Blah on you. All right. Oh, um, what we need to do right now is we have which ones? I think that that's done. Yep, that's done. That's done. Put that back in there. And we need. Hold on. Plant that. 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 Plant
plant that bag in there. Yes, cows, it's coming your turn. Because I slaughtered all of your friends. Oh, I know, you're so scared of me, aren't you? Well, look, I got something for you. Hey, you take this, and you take this. Oh, look away. No, yes, yes, yes. We don't want to see that. Oh, I think it's done. Yes, little little baby pig. Look, uh, Cow. Little baby cow. All right. And we got plenty of chickens. So I'm not going to make too many more chickens staying there. All right, so we have... What are we missing? We need one, two, two stairs, three, four, four stairs, four stairs. Yeah, because we're missing the four, two there. That's right. All right, so we need four more stairs, which is like pretty much one recipe. So, where is it? Bada bing. Pop you out. I don't need you in my inventory. Here we go. See? One more recipe of stairs. That's all we need. And then we are ready to start crafting our next spell. <laughs> we can start getting powerful. Yes! Oh, you son of a brute. That was not nice. Fine. We'll do it this way. Oops. Seriously, I can... Ooh, I can check them all the way over there. Whoa. Think. I don't know why I just dug those up, and I could have just shot them. What the heck is wrong with me? All right. Take that. Thank you very much. There we go. All right, our spell crafting altar is... Missing... A lever. Do I have a lever? Where's where, where's the lever? Did I put it in there? No, I did not. All right, where did I put that lever? Lever, there it is. So that should complete our spellcrafting altar. The next thing I want to do is I want to put a white nexus right there, and then at some point I want to build a dark nexus out back here. Um, that way it'll be have access, it'll be have, yes, it'll have access to all three powers and we'll be good to go. Grow, baby, grow. <laughs> all right, so let's go clear my inventory. What we're going to do this round is we're going to go back into the nether. Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. It depends on how much time I have left. You know what? Screw that. Let's go back into the nether now. I'll empty my inventory later. We've got... Eight, ten minutes. Yeah, eight, ten minutes, something like that. Oh, no, because I'm just going to get blown up in there. Remember, it's freaking war zone. I tell you what we need. We need to take some stone with us because we need to protect our warp. It is, it is our way out of there. That is what it is. Oh, we have these signs to go back up to. Distractions, distractions. So we're just going to place them up there and leave them blank just like that. And let's see, we have some seeds, plants that come right in here. Throw that in there. Alright, leather is a mob drop. Paper, I can leave that upstairs. Food, we need to carry with us. Flint and steel can go with us. Because you never know, we might need that. Alright, we have a bunch of witchwood, witchwood planks, which goes over here in wood. And now I have some dirt here. Let's go here, and let's go. Oh, I have water bottles. Yeah, we'll leave the water bottles alone. I don't care. What we need is, A, with two, two objectives, if we have time. Uh, first thing is we need to secure our portal because we want to put a nice little roof over the top of it. be real quick here and this will give us a nice little shelter to to warp into when we come out of the of the portal we don't have to worry about getting shot at as we exit the portal 
That's the general idea of this, anyways. Whoa! Alright, this could be bad. Oh, whoa, that is bad. Alright, we need to get clear away. We need to clear away, clear away. Die, Effer. Alright, well, that was good. Okay, let's see. Check, make sure. Alright, we still have a portal. We're still good. We're still good. Okay. Let's let's finish. Tie it off on this other side over here. This is where it's dangerous. And no, I'm not just building a roof and then leaving it plain like that. We are actually going to build a floor underneath it as well. Um, pretty much encasing the whole thing in stone so that we don't have to worry about anything jumping out at us and surprising us pretty much ever. But the first objective obviously is always the roof because if you don't have a roof over your head, as you saw, they will come and attack you and shoot at you, and those gas can blow your portal out, and you don't want that. And when I say blow it out, that means they can pop it, essentially, I guess is what you call it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and close this here. I'm actually going to dig this up down here so it's all level on the bottom. place all the ground under here with stone as well this way if if you know one of them does happen to shoot us over here then we don't have to worry about oh what's under us because they can't break the stone I heard him I heard him I did hurt him fell just then. That could have been really, really bad, y'all. Like I said, this will give us a safer location to come into and out of. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to dig up the ground in here. Oh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I'm pretty much going to encase myself in here. And then when we're all done, then we're going to come back and open a hole. Now I've got a special way that I open the hole and make prevents it from them prevents them from being able to shoot the portal through my door. Because that's like I said, what all all this is for mostly is to protect the portal. This way we don't have to worry about bringing back uh, flint and steel with us every time we come in here. unturned. Excuse me. Alright, here in a second we will be completely sealed in. So we are now hermetically sealed. The, the, they cannot get to us at this point. Of course, we can't get out without breaking the wall either. 
which is fine. That dot, man. It's the dot. It's throwing me off. All right. sure that many of you could probably do a heck of a lot better than what I'm doing as far as you know designing it and decorating it but the fact of the matter is I'm not that concerned with how it looks for me this is just a utility all right so now we're gonna build our gate access panel right so what this is is it gives me a safe area to walk to get out of here and a way so that well, they can't shoot me. Or they can't shoot the portal. That's really what it's all about, like I, like I keep saying. Excuse me. Hey, this is my work zone. All right, that gives us one panel, one pathway there, and then always have a backup, a secondary location that you can walk out of, and that's what this is over here. As you can see, the re what this does is it makes it impossible for the gas to shoot through the portal, which really is our entire goal. We don't want them being able to shoot the portal. Now, there's two more things that we probably should do. The first is I need to get on top of this portal, and I need to put a layer three by, what is that, five? An extra layer of stone. That way, if... And the gas has to shoot, happens to shoot the top of the portal right now. He could blow the portal out. He is too far away. We need to hit him. All right, and I'm going to do this with Netherrack to get up there. I am out of stone. Would you look at that? All right. Well, that is good for now, I think, actually. We're going to go ahead and leave. This is perfect. So maybe in the next episode, we'll come back in here and continue the hunt for quartz. Because we definitely need some more quartz to finish up with our white nexus. So that'll be it for this episode. I'm going to head back to the house. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. As always, a like, comment, share lets me know that you care. And we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.